Hey, what's going on? Thanks for joining me. Welcome. This is RJ's Cave, and we're doing a mystery review. Before we get into that, though, whatever is going on, <clears throat> I want to say thanks. I want to thank everybody who has been hitting the subscribe, notific the notification bell, and everybody who's been commenting and uh, sharing, because all those things really help, and we're a young channel, so... Uh, to, to, to see what's going on now and, and realize that uh, all you guys have all the hard work you're doing and uh, thank you very much we really appreciate it please keep it up keep doing more alright and uh, hit hit uh, don't forget if you're not a subscriber either don't forget hit subscribe notif uh, don't forget the notification bell and uh, like the videos alright so now that that's out of the way we can get on to the mystery review some mystery, right? Oh, well, nah, that's not it. This is something we're going to be doing in a week or two. All right, this is a BC Rich Avenge Son of uh, Beast. All right, this is not the original Beast. This is Son of Beast. But we're going to get into that when I get around to doing the review shortly. So keep an eye out for that. This is what we're talking about today. And this is a mystery review because this was our first mystery amp unboxing. So, <laughs> yeah, I tied it together. So, all right. So, uh, I haven't had the greatest quality amps in here in the beginning, guys. Sorry about that. I'm working uh, with no budget, literally. So I managed to scrape up a couple extra bucks with a little overtime came my way. And uh, picked this up. And, uh, well, it's instead of me giving you my opinions just yet, let's go over the amp so you can see what what's it involves. Because there's a lot here. All right, this is the Black Star ID Core 40 stereo amp. Okay, before we get into the stereo part and all that, let's go to the top. I'm gonna bring you guys over here, and hopefully. I can get close enough. All right, that looks pretty good. Hopefully you guys can read that. Uh, over here on this side. This is the input. We'll take that out for a second. Okay, so that's the input. Over here is where you put your uh, MP3 player, your phone, so you can play backing tracks. The little one above that, this little guy at the tip of my finger here, that is for the line out so that you can plug into a mixer or something like that. Uh, okay, so now that that's out of the way, uh, this voice button right here, this is basically your channels. How in old school amps have two channels, right? You have clean and dirty. Well, this one has six. They're kind of like just presets, but think of them as channels. And uh, they've, they've got your basic warm clean, which is more of a British clean. Uh, this is more of an American clean. It's a bright, called bright clean. Then there's... Um, I can't read from here. A crunch. I was going to say fuzz. It's actually called crunch, which is more of a, a classic fuzz. And then super crunch, which is an, uh, a boosted. Uh, what happens when you boost that fuzz, right? So it's kind of like a, like a, like a tube screamer kicked in. And then there's the overdrive and then overdrive two. And that's like a, a, a British overdrive and a metal, an American overdrive, more or less. This is how they basically, like, I, it was basically explained to me that way. So that's how I'm explaining it to you. So I apologize if it's not 100% accurate. Uh, I'm just going with what I know. So now you have these six settings. On top of the ones that are built in, you go like that. And now you have all these other buttons on over here. That's because that, those are my pre-programmed. Pre well, they're not pre-programmed if they're mine. They're the ones that I made. All right. So you have one for each one of these as well. So you have six of those. So you have 12 all together. 
all right? Uh, and you, on top of that, you have control of the gain levels on each one. So you can do a nice clean fuzz that just breaks up when you play it hard. And then when you want something a little more screaming, you can just dial up the gain a little bit and you can uh, get uh, like a really hot classic lead sound. Uh, or you can go into the super crunch and you can play around with that there. That's more like early 80s metal, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of how I think of it anyway. But then you have the volume control here. Uh, you have the volume. And then this is the EQ, which they call the ISF. This is basically one knob that's got uh, EQ presets that cover... The bright side is American amps. And then on the, on the warmest side, it is British amps. So as you go from bright to warm, you're going from American to, American to British amplification settings. So instead of having, well, just, just think of it that way. Okay, so you can tweak your crunch here and then just dial in and make it warmer. So you can actually make it sound more American and then just dial it warmer with this as an example. On top of all this, you have these three buttons here. All right, so modulation, delay, and reverb. All right, and then this is this helps um, the warble. You control this, and this can be laid on top of all the tones that you make here as well. So you can add, you can do these as clean, distorted tones, and then you can play around with those clean or distorted tones and layer these on top of them. All right, and each one has four settings on this knob here. All right, as you turn through, go through the settings, each different one lights up, and then you have uh, different presets that you can play around with. With the level knob, you can mix them into their volumes in the uh, mix with your regular, your other, uh, with your with your tone, with your chosen tone. You can make it so that it's more subtle or more more uh, out in front. On top of that, it also has a tuner, and you can connect it through this. I don't know if you can see that there, the USB. That goes to your computer where you download the software, and now you can you can even go into further detail with your presets. I'm going to put you back here now, guys. So, so yeah, so now you have uh, a whole bunch of other things you can do with your presets because now you can start tweaking them even further because in the software, the control setup also includes a low, mid, and high EQ settings, uh, knobs. There's not room on an amp this size. I think they have that on the larger amps. So I think that's part of you know, the representation of the larger amps. Anyway, that gives you um, extra settings. That gives you extra control of those settings. So you can play with your presets that you did in here. You can remake them in there and then tweak them a little further and see if you can make them a little better. If you like them, you just download them right over the top of the old one. And then you save that there, and you can make up a ton of different presets. You can do a couple hundred of them. Plus, there's uh, some presets there made by some guys from different, uh, you know, professional musicians. I saw some from, uh, I was looking for some heavy metal crunch. And they had some from Biohazard. Uh, so, I mean, you know, they're not current, but uh, they're, you know, they were hardcore 90s, hardcore metal kind of stuff. So, uh, that's heavy, right? So, anyway... So you can do all that as well. So this, and now we haven't even talked about it being stereo yet, right guys? So as, because this is a stereo amp. Think of it as being like your car amplifier. The amplifier in your car is actually, the radio in your car, I should say, has multiple amplifiers, usually. So when you, if your amp says 20 watts per side on it, if, or 10 watts per side on it, or 50 watts per side on it, that's per amp. That's what it's telling you. Usually there's two or four, right? And most cars have four, believe it or not. And uh, I believe they do anyway. You know, I'm, not a, I'm not a professional. So, uh, so, so that's what's going on here. The thing is, 
when you have two 20 watt amps, each one only goes up to 20 watts. So you're not getting the volume of 40 watts. You're getting the volume of 20 watts. Okay. That's what you got to remember. It's being spread out this way and this way better than it would be if it was one amp pushing to 40 watts. You, you're, you're going like in a straight line more where you, with this amp because of the way it's set up as a stereo amp and the, what you can do with stereo sound electronically with like surround sound in your TV set, this is the same, it does the same kind of thing here. So you get a whole different kind of uh, richness to your tone that you don't get in a normal amplifier. And that's especially prevalent when you hear these different uh, modulation effects in the room. In a recording, it kind of gets lost. So that's something I was checking on videos and everyone was saying the same thing. You got to do either two microphones, one on this side, one on that side and have separate channels that you record and bring them both together in the recording. And then you got a shot, just a shot at being able to really discern some of that quality. Uh, otherwise, it just so I got one lapel mic with no foam. So it's yeah. But anyway, uh, it sounds really good. So to that end, I am going to try and play a little bit, but I'm going to try and keep it just real quick. I'm going to go through the different settings and give you an idea of the basic stuff. I'm not going to go into my settings. Uh, I don't think so. Anyway, I might. That's not the plan. But uh, these, it's a really, it's the, besides this one, there's the ID Core 20 and the ID Core 10. So those make, I'm sure those make good bedroom amps as, as well. From what I understand, the 10 is a little more limited in its effect setup. Oh, it's, it has the same setup, but it doesn't use a foot switch. Because I didn't even talk about the foot switch. After all the things I talked about, I forgot the foot switch. And I got to talk about the foot switch before I play. So the foot switch uh, adds another, adds a whole bunch of more uh, presets and storage uh, for presets in it. So you buy, like, for another $45, you get the, the two-pedal foot switch for this. And now you have 30 presets or 36 presets total that you can access just on the fly. That you can program yourself in your computer and, and test them live. Because you're going to, at the time, you plug this into the computer, you're plugged into this. You're playing the tones that you're making on the computer through your amp until you download you know what i mean so you it, it's it's cool like that so uh all right back to this is that on that's on all right i'm going to show you the basic settings all right so this is clean warm Try not to be too loud, because then it might overpower the junkie mic. Alright, I'm just making this up as I go, guys. So, now this is the bright clean. I'm also in the bridge position here, and now I'm going to be on the bridge position for all of it. Pick it up a little bit we're going to go to the crunch these are all the basic standard settings without any addition effects additional effects on them excuse me all right not bad super crunch more metal tones well that was one right so here's number two this is overdrive one and 
now the brighter one. This is the American one. All right. And these are all pretty cool tones. And on top of that, you start playing with the other stuff. Let's try some crunch with a little module. A little, I find a little distortion on top of these makes them a little more presentable. You can hear them a little better. I'm in the modular stuff now. This is setting number two. And this is on crunch. Setting number four. But now we'll turn that off. We'll do some delay. Oh, you know what I should do? I should turn the level up so you can hear it better. I was wondering why it didn't sound quite that well. I put the modular back on so you can try it. See if that helps at all. There you go. That sounds more what I was looking for. So now we're going through the delays real quick. Setting number two. I like that. Setting number three. It's more pronounced number two. Now we're on four. And if I keep down the level up on this one, because this level knob does different things for the different effects so that it works appropriately for each effect. Right, where some of them might just need volume, it brings up the volume. Where others need more something else, it's something else. So... But guys, that's going to be about it, I think, on this review. Uh, this is the Blackstar ID40, ID Core 40, excuse me. Uh, I think there's a lot here for what you pay. And I don't think you pay a whole lot for what... I don't think they ask a whole lot. I mean, you can get, yeah, you can go and get the Katana for another $20 more, $30 more maybe. You get a 50-watt Katana with a 12-inch speaker. But then that's a, a little bit of a different animal. This is like trying to be like the ultimate bedroom amp. And it kind of succeeds because it does things that other amps don't do, but it's not loud enough to play out in. So I think in a lot of regards, this really qualifies as one of those ultimate bedroom amps. Maybe not the ultimate bedroom amp. But if you're looking for one that can do a little bit of everything, it's not that hard to get your head around. Because I'm, I'm an older guy. Make it simple for me. I mean, I, I, I usually play with just a clean channel and my pedals, and that's it. So, uh, so f for me to be able to get a handle on all this and have fun and not really feel overwhelmed, like, uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, uh, that's definitely, this is definitely the way to go for me. I'm so impressed with this that I'm going to go out and buy the foot pedal, the foot switch, and then I'm going to uh, consider making the 100 or the 150 uh, a purchase in the future because this is definitely, I want to stay familiar with this. If they're going to keep this line going, I want to be a part of this for a while because I can get some really good tones really simply in packages that, that don't weigh a ton so and aren't, aren't overpriced. So... Uh, by the way, guys, I am not getting endorsed or, for, or I'm not getting paid in any way for this. This I paid money my own out of my own pocket for all this. All right, so don't th don't be thinking that uh, I'm endorsing or if I'm or now that I've done this, I'm going to get something for free or whatever. That's not taking place here at all. Um, this is a 100% honest review. So, 
if you're considering uh, you need something that's going to be a good solid bedroom amp that sounds really good this this definitely qualifies uh, you can do a lot with this I mean this one was designed a little bit earlier than some other ones I believe because this is version 2 and this version 2 is a couple of years old so I think the spark does a little does some other things and maybe the katana as well but I don't really know uh, so so check them all out but definitely consider this one it really sounds great and it's really not that hard to use and I'm really really looking forward to making a whole bunch of tones and keeping them on stored on the computer so guys this is going to be it thank you very much for sticking around I really appreciate it don't forget if you like this video and I know you like the video right uh, I would like if you like this video then definitely hit the like button and subscribe and when you subscribe don't forget the notification bell, all right? Because it really do take notice of that. I mean, you, the difference being whether you just hit the subscribe and versus subscribe and get the notification button, it, it's, there's, there's, a, there's a difference there. Uh, and if you, could, if you could comment, all right? Let me know what's going on. If you don't like my accent, whatever. If you, want, if you think I'm a moron for liking this thing, whatever. Let me know. And... Uh, Share these things too, all right? Because that really helps the channel as well. I know I'm asking a lot, but you know, it's a young channel and uh, I need your help, right? So, and we're going to be all about you guys. That's so, so, you know, helping us helps you in the long run. So, and we're not asking you for money. <laughs> so, there's that, all right? So, listen, guys, thanks again. Uh, don't forget. This music journey we're on really is kind of a, a magic quest as well because when you can make music, you can make magic. You can change change somebody's day just like that. So, by all means, get motivated. Uh, get what you uh, get. You know, find, get get motivated. Go out there and learn how to make music so you can make magic. The world needs more magic in it. All right. Now that I fumbled through that at the very end of this video, take it easy. <laughs> This is RJ's Cave. Later.